Good morning, everybody. Good to see you all again. Up and ready to roll. All right, you know the routine. As usual, first we're gonna talk about the calendar, then we're gonna move on to weather, and last, we have something a little yeah. new, a little different for us. We'll be talking about community helpers at the end of our time together. So let's take a look at that calendar. All right, here we go. First things first, tell me. What? What day is it? Yeah, today's date is, or I should say the day of the week is? Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, we'll bring that right up. Very good. And let's think about the sequence of our days. Let's put them in order. So we already know that today is Wednesday, so we can bring that up. So let me tell, ask you, what was yesterday and what will tomorrow be? All right. Yes. Yeah, if you said yesterday is Tuesday, you're getting a hang of it. Very good. Yesterday was Tuesday and tomorrow will be Thursday. All right. Very cool. Making our way through the school week. And now let's take a look at our calendar. I want you to tell me what the month is, the year, and like our date, our number. All right, our month should be May. May, the last full month of spring. And our year is 2020, and you said that date, that number is the 13th, very good. All right, let's say the whole date now. All right, I'll give everybody a little time. Find all the buttons. All right, all together now, everyone. Today's date is? Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. Yeah, Wednesday, May 13th, 2020. So we're about halfway through this month of May. All right, scoot over to weather. Take a moment to look out your window, window or take a look at your phone. All right, what did it say? Yeah, pretty exciting. It said that today is sunny. All right, use a few more of those. Awesome, all right, if you feel like you wanna head outside today, could be a good day for it. What? What do you think you could wear? wear? All right, I think we have a few choices. We're kind of getting to that time where it feels hotter, hotter but not too hot. Um, so there are a few different choices. Probably you don't need boots. You probably don't need a sweater. 
Hmm. I'd say you, maybe pants would be good right now because it's also a little warm, but kind of cool. And you know what? Actually, you probably should go with the sweater or a t-shirt, but this is probably just your personal choice. You tend to get cold a little easier. You probably should wear a sweater or zip up. If you get warmer, you might want to go with the t-shirt. All right. Very cool. And now it is time to read a book. So what I wanted to talk about today are the different people, people that what? work around us. So basically all the different jobs, jobs that we see around us with our community helpers. I want you, while we're reading, to think about what job you think is the most fun. All right, let's read. The title is, Whose Hands Are These? And as we read, this is, this is a rhyming book, so I want you to take a guess as to what community helper we're reading about, okay? Here we go. Hands can wiggle, hands can clap. Hands can wrap and flap and tap, but hands can help. So raise yours, please. Can you guess whose hands are these? So each time we read about a community helper, I want you to guess what job they are doing. Ho, so these hands are soiled. Reap, seep, sweep and reap, these hands have toiled. In a barn, these hands are charmers. These hands belong to, what do you think? It should rhyme. Farmers, yeah, all the people working on those farms, helping us eat. All right, next job. Choose, peruse, these hands are picky. Mix and mash, these hands are sticky. These hands flip through food-stained books. These hands belong to gifted, Books, yeah, nice job. So all the people that work at the restaurants, if you're getting any takeout or delivery right now. All right, stop and go, these hands are waving. Catch that guy, he's misbehaving. These hands help keep the peace. Hold your hands up, it's the, what do you think? Yeah, the police. Quest and test, these hands are turning. Test again, these hands are learning. Weigh and count, their work persists. These hands belong to, what do you think? Scientists, yeah, all the people that help make our medicine. Push and play, these hands are shaping. Wet clay, these hands are scraping. These hands keep adding water. These hands, these are the hands of one great, what type of artist? Potter, all right. Taking notes, these hands are writing. Breaking news, how exciting. These hands can type, hold, or hold recorders. These hands belong to, you might have seen them on your TV. News reporters, yes. All right, Hank and Crank, these hands are smeared. Reach and wrench, they disappeared. When something breaks, these hands don't panic. These hands belong to a mechanic. Yeah, they probably would help work on mom and dad's car. Dream and sketch, these hands draw lines. They stack and build, they form designs. Take a look at that house. Measure twice, check all the specs. These hands belong to Architects, I'm not sure if you've heard of this one, but they do help design the houses. Arms up high, these hands keep score. Throwing flags, they say no more. Each hand signs and oversees. These hands belong to referees. Yeah, the people in charge of the rules for different sport games. Rub and scrub, these hands are clean. Wearing gloves, these hands are green. These hands have healing missions. These hands belong to your physicians, another word for doctor. Hopefully they're not the only ones washing their hands a lot. We all should be right now. Come on in, these hands 
wave sweetly, caked in chalk, these hands write neatly, these hands care for kids and creatures. These hands belong to helpful, what do you think? I see some numbers written here. Teachers, yeah. And you've been seeing a lot of your teachers probably on your computer screen or tablet, hopefully soon in person again. Greeting, eating, dressing, sharing, cleaning, caring, or repairing. Let your hands try something new. One day, what could your hands do? The end. So what do you think? What do, what do you wish you could be? What do you think sounds like the best job? I know for me, I like the teacher one. All right. Now, for those of you who need a break, feel free to end your session here. If you wanna keep going, we are gonna be playing a WH bingo. So you guys should all have your boards and grab something to mark each answer. And I'm gonna read each question, okay? And I want you to find the answer. So we're talking about people talking about jobs. Here's the first job. Who takes your money when you buy something? You know, and I'll play that cool music in the background. All right, the answer should be cashier. Who builds things with wood and nails? Carpenter. Who fixes a leak under the sink? This is a plumber, all right. Who helps keep your school clean? These guys come when we leave the building, so you might not have seen them before. If you have, you know what they are. They are called janitors. Who does magic tricks? It's the fun one. Might have special card games, pull a rabbit out of a hat. Magician. Who takes pictures? Maybe you're one. Photographer. Who plants seeds to grow food? Now we read about this one. What do you think? Farmer. Who uses clues to solve mysteries? Maybe you've read about this in a book. Detective. They usually hold a magnifying glass. Who lives next door to you? Not exactly a job, but a who, a person, just the same. Neighbor. Who puts out fires? They usually have a cool outfit. They'll sometimes visit NLG. Firefighters, yeah, if we do our drill, they'll be by. Who makes sure that people obey the law? This person was also in our book. Yeah, police officer. Who helps people play together as a team? If you guys do sports group with Sarah or Aaron, you'd know this one. It's your coach. Who wears a hat and rides a horse? Cowboy. Who counts money and cashes checks? If you're a little older, you might go here and see this person. The bank teller. Who helps us borrow books and read? Maybe you like to go here on your outings, your Friday fun outings. The librarian, you might see her at the library. Who does experiments? 
another job from our book, The Scientist. All right, and I'm gonna do just one more. I'm hoping you guys all got four in a row. Don't forget to fill that free space. Last one is, who flies a spaceship? An astronaut, all right. Awesome job, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's circle group. I know I really enjoyed that book. And I will see you all next time. Have a great rest of the day, and I hope you enjoy the sunny, warm weather. All right, bye.